Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, November 14th, 2022. The Tarot card for today is the Two of Cups, and this is from a deck in progress by artist Diana Bach. And when Diana completes this deck, it will be available through U.S. Game Systems. For all the many years I have been reading cards, this is probably the card that everyone really wants to see the most, you know. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, you know, all about love and relationships. And sometimes people are disappointed when I don't speak of those things or I don't, you know, say the love of your life is going to come riding into your life today. You know, that kind of thing. But today we have a nice vibe going on, all right? We really do. The moon continues in home sign of Cancer until early morning before moving into Leo, about the time most of you are beginning your day. But while it's still in Cancer, it's going to oppose Pluto. I know, I know, but most of you will be asleep then. And then it's going to have a lovely trine with Venus. And a couple hours later, a trine with Jupiter. Now, later in the day, we will have two major aspects taking place. A sextile between Mercury and Pluto, and the Sun will try Neptune. So let's kind of try and break all of these down and see where this fits in with our Two of Cups. Before I continue, because I want everybody to hear this, uh, my December Love and Finance will be out early this month. It will be available on uh, Instagram and YouTube for free where you can have a listen if you are someone who would like to see what it is I do all right I break it down by astrology and also what I see in the cards so I don't know yet how long that one will be because everything gets recorded early but this is uh, probably about 25 30 minutes somewhere in there we'll see how that goes so I anticipate that being on the 16th anyway let's talk about the card first of all relationships yes commitments I like to see this card as you know when you see the two people in the two of cups they're always looking each other in the eye no one is above anyone else no one is any better and you know it's about you know having that equality and being able to reciprocate okay there needs to be a proper give and take in any type of commitment. So I think that's important. There is a, a key word here that's respect. And if you do think you have anything going on that could impact a relationship negatively, I would avoid that midnightish, you know, 11 to 1 a.m. area time frame and not try to, you know, poke the bear because the moon opposing Pluto can really you know just make things a little bit intense and cause a little bit of drama so why go there right it'll pass you move on to the next thing moon trine venus can bring some tender loving moments and i think that that is uh it just has a good secure emotional feel to it to be honest and the trine with jupiter will bode well for relationships also um it's a very supportive feeling type of transit mercury sextile pluto is a rather intense transit okay and you know we have a plan of transformation one of thought and communication and you know there's also secrets and power and is there a good balance in your commitments all right is the give and take equal because someone may hold all the power in a relationship you're gonna have to see how that goes okay the sun trying Neptune is, you know, very intuitive and creative. And I think it's also a very sensitive aspect, which you can do well in committed relationships, actually having those one-on-one -on -one talks. So this is a good day for that, okay? I don't think there's anything there to, you know, hold you back from doing so. And, yeah... I rather like the day. We're reaching the point where the energies are going to start improving for recent weeks, for maybe at least a month. They've been pretty rough, I know, for most of you. So it is going to begin 
to get better. And I do think that you will start to see that. So, with that being said, don't forget to check out the Love and Finance on the 16th. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.